2023 presidency, Buhari has private agenda. Usibanjo wants to continue it. The leader of the Yoruba Social Political Group, Ayo Adebanjo, has alleged that President Muhammad Buhari has been running a private agenda since assuming power in 2015. He argued that the agenda is what has plunged Nigeria into the current challenges of insecurity and economic problems. In his views, Nigeria has gone worse since the current administration led by President Buhari came into power in 2015. Pa Ayo Adebanjo submitted that the unfinished agenda of insecurity and poverty is what Vice President Yemi Osibanjo also wants to continue by aspiring to be the nation's president in 2023. Nigerians understand that the Afeni Ferry leader made the submission on Sunday during an interview with China's television. He argued that the government has and knows the solution to the problems facing Nigeria, but those in power are just not ready to implement the needed steps. Former President Olusegun Obasanjo told them that the creation of state police is the solution to the country's insecurity. Let each state take care of its own security. Let them be armed, the Afenifere leader said. My view is that it is not that Buhari doesn't know, but he has a private agenda which everybody does not want to admit. Asked if he has any evidence to back up his claim that President Buhari has been running a private agenda, Adeban just said, at no time has Buhari come out to debunk the allegations since it has been in public domain. I have evidence. When I said he has a private agenda, when has it come to the public to say, who is saying I have a private agenda? I mean well, why should I not create the state police? Since he, referring to the president, has been in office, has he addressed the nation during May Day? When he wants to talk to us, he goes abroad. What is he doing so well? What is the value of the Naira in 2015? What is its value now? How much were we buying petrol in 2015? How much is it now? The Afeni Ferry leader knocked to see Banjo for stating that he wants to become president to continue what Buhari has started, arguing that Nigeria has not fared any better under the leadership of the current administration. The Vice President Yemi Usibanjo now said he wants to succeed him and continue his works and continue the insecurity and poverty. On April 11, 2022, Professor Yemi Usibanjo officially declared his aspiration to succeed President Mohamed Buhari by seeking the presidential ticket of the All Progressive Congress, APC. The polity uh, is being heated up right now. We know 2023 uh, presidency is not long to go. Before now, we used to say two years, um, one year plus is even less than a year. February 2023 is when the election will take place. And uh, we've seen all of those that are interested, all of the aspirants, those that have um, intentions to run. You know, the one that shook the media space the most was um, Professor Yemi Usibanjo, Vice President Yemi Usibanjo. Before his declaration, it was um, speculations and rumors that he was going to run. And while the, those speculations and rumors were flying around, uh, he debunked them on several occasions that he had no intentions to run. Most probably that was why um, it sparked a lot of controversy. All the times his media aide will come out to say um, his principal has got no intentions to run. That all he's concentrating at the moment is just on his VP role to see um, how he can serve the people better. But uh, we know um, during the Easter week, it came as a shocker. Vice President Yemi Osibanjo declared his intentions to run, and immediately that sparked a lot of controversy and mixed reactions. Some people criticizing him, calling him names. You know, he was called a Judas because that was the same week Jesus was betrayed. The reason they called him Judas was because of. Um, uh, Bola Tinubu, we all know that. But anyways, uh, uh, Pa'ayo Adebanjo, the leader of the Yoruba Social Political Group, Afeni Ferre, what he's stating right now is that Buhari has got a secret agenda, a private agenda, and Usibanjo wants to continue that agenda. So that, uh, why? Because to him, he doesn't see any reason why Usibanjo wants to run, despite the fact that Usibanjo is from the same region, the southwest. We know that um, clamor has been going on that um, 2023 presidency should go to the south. Of late, um, even um, Afeni Ferre, this group, 
and its leader, Baaya Adebanjo, they've been speaking about um, uh, equity, fairness, justice. Therefore, fairness for justice, it should go to the southeast, arguing that if we look at history, it's only the southeast from the southern part of the country that has not gotten a shot. Southwest have gotten a shot in the person of um, former president Obasanjo. South, South, good luck, Billy Jonathan. So they, to them, they feel that um, North, they've had their turn, but now that it's coming to the South, it should go to the Southeast. So for Yemi Osibanjo, uh, even Bola Tinubu, when Tinubu declared his intentions to run, it was the same reactions from Pa Ayuade Banjo that uh, they are not speaking, but the way he put it there was that he wasn't going to speak for or against, but we know that the body language was that they were not even in support of um, Bola Tinubu. So him speaking against Emil Sibanjo, it's not like he's even in support of um, Bola Tinubu. All he's fuming at right now is that he does not understand what Sibanjo is saying. He wants to continue from where President Mohamed Buhari stopped. That where did Buhari stop? Has he, even, has he done anything? If he has done something right, we'll say, okay, fair enough, you want to continue. Now, is it the hardship and poverty Osibanjo is talking about? You know, with Osibanjo, he's one person that Nigerians hardly criticize as in, you know, um, no fraud allegation against him. EFCC is not coming after him and all of those stuff. But even at that, um, Nigerians still feel that because he's part of this administration, what does he want to offer? That is the way Nigerians are seeing it. And Nigerians are stating that rather than take a MLC banjo, some person feel that um, if there are only two options, if there is a MLC banjo and Bola Tinubu, that they will go for Bola Tinubu. It was um, in a discussion yesterday. Anyway, guys, uh, um, Afeni Ferre is letting Nigerians know that um, Buhari has got a private agenda. And when he was saying this on channels television, he was being asked that, do you have a, a backup to this, your claim? Because this is a claim. Do you have any backup? He said, of course, that um, is what is happening because if it is not, this has been um, out there. He's not just saying it now. That how many times has Buhari come out to speak against this, to debunk this, or even um, reject that claim that it's not true, it's not possible, that Buhari hasn't said anything if that is not his plans to um, continue ruling, to continue being president. He wants to continue being president and not just being president continue i'm um, imposing hardship the insecurity and they just said that look at what obasanjo just uh, uh suggested recently that state policing would seriously help the insecurity what has buhari done about it did he accept it did he say anything about it that it's all of his secret agenda to continue the insecurity and make life more difficult for nigerians well guys leave us your own thoughts um, about um what um uh, Paayo Adebanjo has just stated. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again on more updates. Bye.